AD-9's dark human experiments, the mole who facilitated them. As Yagami gets closer to the truth, the trap is sprung. Details come at the cost of Kaito's blood. And each word that Hamura, the Matsugane family captain, speaks pulls back the veil a little further. Get your fucking hands off me! <laughs> this is as good a spot as any. You need any... instruments. You just ask me. Hopefully, it doesn't come to that. Now, I think it's about time we got some answers. And you're gonna give them to us. Should we take it from the top? First off, the one in control of all this is Shono, the 89 researcher. How long have you been working for him? Murdering for him? I already have a pretty good idea. How about I guess? <laughs> First time you used the mole was... When you murdered Emi Terasawa and set her apartment on fire. Three years ago, she was Shinpei Okubo's girlfriend, as I'm sure you remember. Huh? You made it look like Okubo killed her. Bullshit I did. Three years ago? Sure as shit wasn't us. Oh, yeah, damn it. I guess you're right. Head in the game, Yagami. <clears throat> Moving on. First time you used the mole was. The Kyori clan guys who turned up dead. Their eyes were gouged out, and the bodies dumped in the alleyways. Yeah, real solid detective work there. Yo, Yagami, that doesn't feel right. I mean, look at that shit eating grin. Uh, yeah, right. Let me think here. What the shit, man? Now, the first time you used the mole was... When you murdered Wakusan in the ADDC. The case I defended Okubo in three years ago. Huh? To silence Wakusan in the hospital, Shono hired an assassin, and he... Wait, is that what happened? What the shit, man? <clears throat> Moving on. First time you used the mole was... When you offed Shintani. You had your man kill him and dump his body in my office. Back it up. You were investigating these murders way before that happened, weren't you? <laughs> you have been hitting the bottle, kid? Hey, I know what I'm doing, Shoya. It's all part of the plan. <laughs> Like hell it is. Anyway, the first time you used the mole was... For Hashiki, the vice director of the ADDC. He got beat to death six months ago, as you well know. <laughs> Hashiki had a secret deal with Chairman Kajihiro. Together, they were gonna poke holes in this 89 business and bring the ADDC to its knees. Shono, the researcher in charge of the drug, had a big secret he needed to keep hidden. Hashki's little investigation posed a big problem. That is, until he got beaten down in the back streets of Kamurocho. Hashki was fatally wounded by the mole, but survived for another three weeks. That kept suspicion off Shono, and left practically no evidence. Only the most skilled killer could pull something like that off. In other words, the assassin you and Shono have been using. <laughs> Think you struck a nerve. 
You're a real crack detective, Yagami. You know, I personally funded his time at law school. He never would have passed the bar without me. No shit? I'd say you made a good investment. Paying off in spades. Uh, do you mind? I'm kinda in the middle of something here. Sorry. Sorry. So, where's your friend? No clue. But he'll be here soon enough. All three of you are dead where you stand. He says the mole's on his way here. Oh, is he now? I'd love to have a chat with the lad. Keep dreaming, pal. He'd wipe the floor with your backcountry ass. Enough, Hamura. Tell us who the mole is and how you started working with him. Have those instruments handy? Coming right up. All right, all right, I'll talk. That's almost a shame. I like when it's tool time. Now, who is the mole? At first, he was just an informant feeding off the chaos that breeds in Camarocho like flies. An informant? Yep. And he was trained by one of the best in the business. Rose to prominence after the cops busted his mentor. And that made the mole the top guy in the biz. One of those situations where the student surpassed the master. Nobody could beat his intel. Could get his hands on anything you needed to. Guns, forged documents, you name it. Before long, we'd formed a nice little partnership. Started making a name for ourselves. Thinking about it, it's been about 20 years now. And? Keep talking, or it's tools. Once I got the gig as captain of the Matsugane family, I started relying on them even more. Let me tell you, the guy could dispose of a corpse like it was the easiest damn thing in the world. He had nerves of steel. And he's never even sworn up. Flash forward to a couple years ago, he said he was ready to start doing hits. That's when my... <laughs> big chance finally came. Honestly, I wasn't that big on the whole murder thing. But the dangerous shit's what really brings in the cash. So, I started touting his services around the darker side of Kamarocho. <laughs> Felt like I added a new dish to my menu. This is no time for jokes, you fool. What, you don't approve of my methods? This city will swallow you whole if you don't got the cash. And protecting the family name doesn't come cheap. <sighs> you think Kaido could have toughed it out with all his swagger? We'd have vanished by now. But with enough money, who knows? We could have rode it to the top of the Tojo clan. Wasn't that always part of the dream, boss? It was, yes. But not anymore. Uh, that's so. <laughs> that's funny. Because I spent my entire life chasing that dream for you. The goal you fucking told me to strive for! Let's get back on topic, shall we? Tell me this. You started shopping the mole services around. What then? What happened? <sighs> Wasn't long till we got our first hit. Our mark was Hashki, Vice Director of the ADDC. And Shono's the one who hired you? So I heard. He always contacted me through someone else. Guy by the name of Ishimatsu. 
Short little guy. Always had this creepy fucking smile on his face. At the time, we all thought this was gonna be a one-off. Didn't do much prying, you know. Never even knew why they wanted the guy dead. We just took the 10 mil and did what we were asked. They wanted him to die discreetly though, right? Pretty much. So he did. Ishimatsu took a real shine to us after that. A few months later, he was back with another job. And that was? Well, gathering test subjects for their 89 experiments and disposing of the bodies. So you just want me to abduct these Curie guys? You don't want them dead? That is correct. And your reward... is a hundred million yen... each. <laughs> Real funny. Last time it was ten for a hit job. Why give us so much more to kidnap a few guys? <laughs> funny you should ask that. It could very well end up being more than just a few guys. We're not quite sure how many we might want. Perhaps just one. Or maybe even ten might not be satisfactory. Ten, huh? The key point is, we expect this to be a long-term partnership. Given the sensitive nature of this task, naturally we expect the utmost secrecy. I sincerely hope this 100 million conveys the importance of that. What about the Kyori guys? What happens to them, huh? It's unfortunately likely that they'll end up dead. Excuse me if this is presumptuous, but considering the amount I'm offering, would that also cover the body disposal? Or would that, uh, cost extra? Drop the fucking act, asshole! Where are you getting that kind of money, huh? A hundred mil just to kill one goddamn Yakuza? <laughs> I actually never said you needed to kill anyone. I only requested that you bring them to us. And then, you would just dispose of the evidence. I don't see where this is going! You think the Yakuza are your tool? You don't understand. My only role is delivering the message. My employer, he's the root of all of this. And... You have no idea how many billions of yen he has to ensure his objectives are achieved. What? If you pull that trigger right now, who knows how decisive the retribution might be. Those billions could instead be shifted toward erasing you. What was that? Just think about it. How long will you be able to survive? Use your head, Captain Hamura. There's no escape. Once you agreed to meet with me today, you all but guaranteed your participation and your compliance. So I strongly suggest you put the gun away. Does that make sense? are seriously that big, huh? Tell me more. Talk. Allow me to answer your question. It's true that we have access to vast amounts of money, yes. But we're not the violent organization you think we are. Oh yeah? Who are you? Ishimatsu Superior. The name's Ichinose. The only reason I'm choosing to show you my face is because I've decided to trust you. And because I want you to understand how far we're willing to go to bring our plan to fruition. My name's Shono, Captain. I'm currently researching a brand new drug called AD9. A drug that could very well save Japan. Or, or, or maybe even the world if... A new drug, huh? 
Where do I come in? The reality of the situation is, we are under intense pressure to complete our work on AD-9 expediently. To that end, Hamura-san, we'd like to ask for your assistance. Ichinose? So the Ministry of Health is in on this too. It goes all the way up. Maybe it does. Are you familiar with the Medical Institute? Yeah. It's home to the ADDC, and it makes a comfy place for all the health ministry execs to go retire. Well, it just so happens that the guy who founded it 20 years ago was none other than Ichinose. He rode that success all the way up to Vice Minister. In other words, his whole legacy's riding on the ADDC. AD9's gotta come out on top for him to stay on top. And he's willing to murder to make sure that happens? Yep. Ichinose is not the only one profiting, either. There are tons of parties involved, all being promised this much cash or that favor. If people have to die for 89 to succeed, so be it. Here's a question. Why'd you go after Kyori guys for the experiments? Just following Shono's orders. Shono told you to? Yep. He said there was a chance of the subject dying when we gave him the 89. Now if regular old civilians started disappearing, That'd make the news in no time. But nobody'd notice a few missing Yakuza during a turf war. Only natural there'd be some casualties, yeah? I guess so. That wasn't the only reason, though. Shono said... <sighs> he didn't want to perform dangerous experiments on innocent civilians. And what, these Yakuza deserve this somehow? The Kajihira group was the one trying to shut down the ADDC to begin with. And the Kyore were Kajihira's lapdogs. A couple of dead thugs didn't weigh on him too much. But don't shoot the messenger. Shono's the one who said it. You'll keep talking if you know what's good for you. Unless you want to go back to the hard way, I'm all for it. What else could you possibly want to know? Actually... I've got one more thing. Oh yeah? You made it sound earlier like you weren't that involved in the killings. But that's not the whole truth, is it? In fact, I have something that shows you actively helped carry out the Kyore killings. Take a look at this. The security camera behind a moor where the third victim, Toshiro Kume, was abducted. It was broken at the time of the murder. Your point being... Hmm? Uh, actually, hold on a sec. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted to show you. The hell are you doing, Yagami? Now then, I have something that shows you actively... Take a look at this. The autopsy report for the first victim, Kenkichi Mashiba. Huh? My guy handled that one. I don't know shit about it. Right. The hell are you, huh? Now then. Take a look at this. The autopsy report for the second victim, Yasuo Kunimura. It was all fun and games for him at Konban Wife until someone gouged his eyes out a few hours later. Sucks for the guy, sure. But that was the mole. I didn't lift a damn finger. Right. Uh, guess not. The hell are you doing, huh? Now then. Take a look at this. Check this out. Look familiar? 
surveillance camera footage of you abducting Kume. So tell me, why'd you take the fall? They even got your face on tape. You're not usually that sloppy. <laughs> Answer me. That was right after we axed two Curie guys, one after another. They started catching on. Wouldn't go around town alone anymore. Keep going. When your mark's that on guard, nobody's laying a hand on him. Not even a trained assassin. So the mole needed a hand. Someone he could trust to get the ball rolling. And that someone was me. So what happened after you left Amor? My guy took Kume out the back. Loaded him in the trunk of a car. Took him to Shono. Just like all the other AD-9 tests. To the ADDC? No, not the center. I'm not sure where it is exactly. Some place Shono and Mole set up. So they carried out their human experiments in some kind of secret lab? Suppose they did. Well, then why'd they need to gouge the eyes out? No clue. But he never told me. Maybe he wanted to make it look like a Yakuza killing. <laughs> Maybe the mole's just into some sick shit. Next up is Shintani. He had nothing to do with the Kyore clan. But you guys still used him as an AD-9 test subject. Or was there some other reason you had him killed? Shintani's death. That was my fault. Huh? When we took care of Kume, I was the one on the hook for it. Let me tell you, ending up in the slammer for a murder you didn't do is scary shit. Made me think, wouldn't hurt to have some insurance. Insurance? Talk to Shintani before the trial, and told him this. If the pieces fall into place and I hang for this, look into Shono at the ADDC. So you told him about the deal you made with Ichinose? Not exactly. Shono was the only name I mentioned. But if anyone found out I spilled the beans to Shintani, well... I'd be betraying the cause. So I told the bastard, only go digging if shit really hits the fan. Why did he call Shono if he knew it was that important to you? Why'd he start digging it up? Beats me. Got a pretty good theory, though. You wanna hear? Yeah, do tell. I guess he didn't want to let you hog all the glory. Huh? He might have won my trial, but you're the one who found the key evidence. Shintani got recognition, sure, but it was only by association. Nobody said it, but they all knew. You did the real work. But even then, you didn't stop trying to show up the poor guy. Right when the trial came to a close, there you were, hunting the real killer down. How do you think Shintani felt, sitting around waiting for you to stumble onto the truth? <laughs> Can't imagine he was sleeping well. <laughs> you might as well let this mole shit go. Think this is some kind of Yakuza pissing contest, do you? Come on! The mole is way bigger than you know. Shintani wanted to find the truth before you did. Wanted to earn his time in the sun. And that's why he called the ADDC? To investigate the killings himself? That's my theory. Can't back it up, though. Either way, the end result was the same. Ichinose found out Shintani was trying to get in touch with Shono. Signed his own death sentence. I'm sure it was plain as day that I was the guy who put him on the right trail. So, I had no choice but to silence Shintani. I even paid for the job out of my own pocket. And when it came to setting up a fall guy, we picked Ayabe. First, we got his gun. 
The mole was the one who used it to kill Shintani. He replaced the one bullet he fired, got rid of any traces that he used it, and put it back in Ayabe's holster. That meant that the bullet found in the body would have the rifling marks from his gun. Which meant it was an unshakable fact that Shintani was shot with Ayabe's weapon. Face it, Ayabe's alibi isn't gonna hold water. The guy doesn't even remember who attacked him? Right. Nobody will buy that. Never. Fair enough. Although, what if we caught the mole and then forced you to testify in the trial? What was that? What's wrong? It smells like something's burning. What? <laughs> My boys must have finally decided to show up. You really want to meet the mole? Now's your chance. That's a gun, son. We gotta go. You too. Get up. I'm gonna go ahead and suggest you let me walk away, boss. If I give the order, the family will fall back. At least then you'd live. Isn't that what you want? That's enough! If this Ministry of Health business is true, you're nothing more than a pawn to them. From where they stand, I'm sure you can be replaced. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. You're an idiot, Hamura. Huh? Come on. It's the Matsugane! They went and started a fire downstairs. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Captain! Oh, Marase. How many they got? Captain! <laughs> That's it. They're so fucking dead! Hey, how did you pull off turning my family into goddamn terrorists? Go, Matsugane son. Right. Leave Hamura to me.
Perfect. Done the 
The same if I was him. Uh, you knew too much. I wish I wasn't right. You're too damn soft. You didn't... You didn't have to protect me. <sighs> when I heard what you said... I knew you were right. This is all... My fault. No, it's not. I wasn't... Very good at the business side. And because of that... You had to protect the family... By crossing the line. <clears throat> there were signs, of course. I wasn't ignorant. I... I looked the other way. And just never asked where the money came from. It was easier that way. I'm not going to <coughs> blame you for, for all of that. <sighs> you just did. <sighs> what you had to. <sighs> I'm sorry. No, not like this. Don't go. I wanted to... I wanted to... To make up for... It was the... The only way... You old fool! You didn't need to go that far! I only did... What any father would have... Masagane-san! Just hold on! Doc, my boy... This is it for me. Hurry and get out. Not without you. Uh, Let's go. The mole is Koroiwa. Now you know the truth. Kuroiwa is the one you want! What? And Patriarch Matsugane? He... He didn't make it. Oh, no. Kuroiwa. Huh? Did you say something? Kuroiwa. Back at the center of the crime scene, eh, Yagami? What the hell are you doing here? Yagami-kun, what's going on? Don't fret, Fujisan. We just need to have a little chat at the station. No. He needs to get to a hospital. Hm. <laughs> it looks fine to me. I'll watch after him otherwise. Are you a doctor now? He needs professional attention. Enough protesting. He'll be just fine with me. You don't even have a reason! It's okay. I'll go with you. I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> you had yourself one hell of a night, huh, Yagami? Doesn't seem like it's ending anytime soon. Could you... At least take these off. Or am I gonna get booked? Afraid I can't. Wouldn't you know, someone went and lost the key. <sighs> Hamura told me everything. Told you what? Told me who you really are. 
You killed Vice Director Hashiki. You mutilated those Yakuza. And Shintani's all you too. I'm on to you. Well, that's a good story. But there's only one detective here. Let's start with the cabaret and what you were doing there. I know that you're the mole. I'm the one asking the questions around here, so... You aren't denying it. <laughs> Why don't you start by telling me what you were doing when you first noticed the fire? Hamura getting away is what's gonna bring you down for good. You really missed your big chance. Can you tell me who started the fire, at least? Matsugane-san is dead because of you. So the moment I get out, your ass is mine! <laughs> Let's see you try! I don't think you realize. 89 gives me complete immunity. I'm talking about people that go all the way up the chain here. They see everything. When it comes to protecting 89's interests, there's no limit to what they'll do. Hamura is a loose end that I'll take care of eventually. And that's a fate you'll both share. This won't end with you alive. I don't mind that. All that matters is proving that you murdered them. <laughs> if you think you scare me, sorry. You has been fraud. Karoiwa-san? There's a call for you. Just one second. Should I take over? Nah. I'm through here. The fire at the cabaret. Tojo Clan and Kyore Clan Yakuza are both responsible for starting it. Luckily, Yagami-san just happened to be nearby and saw the whole thing. This case is closed. Thank you for your time. I'll escort you out then, Yagami-san. Hi, mister. Are you Yagami? Yeah? Who's asking? I have a present for you. What is it? I don't know. Some guy told me to give it to you. He said he was a friend. Oh, and he said to open it right away. What? Wonderful, Yagami-san. Such stunning reflexes. You even avoided doing any property damage. Well, did you enjoy my present? It was given to me as a gift by an old business partner of mine. Who the hell are you? Oh, pardon my rudeness. This is my card. Koga? Oh, you don't know me? Hmm, I see, I see. In that case, perhaps I should start over. My name is Matsuhisa Koga, one of the Keihin Four. I came to see what all the fuss is about. And introduce you to my way of doing things. You know, our reputation has taken quite a hit thanks to your antics. That being the case, it falls to me to put a stop to this farce. You guys are the farce. <laughs> Enough talk! Show me what you can do, Yagami-san!
Well, you're as strong as they said you'd be. It seems fortune is not on my side today. I surrender. You win. Huh? Already? In the business world, one must always know when to withdraw. If Matsuhisa Koga lost to some thug on the street, our reputation would be in tatters. My business partners would never take me seriously again. I don't know why they would to begin with. Now I must retire. Until the day I get revenge. Farewell, Yagami-san. Can't these guys just leave me alone? Sugiura. What happened with Kaito-san? Is he okay? Doctor said he'll be back on his feet in a few days. We took him to some back alley joint. Hush hush, you know? Didn't realize you had those kinds of connections. Actually, he was a friend of Kaito-san's. Sounded like they go way back. Couldn't you have just gone to a hospital? That's what I thought. Kaito-san was pretty insistent, though. Said he didn't have time to deal with a bullet in the gut. That's Kaito. How'd everything go with you? I heard the Cure Club burned down. Yeah, things were tough. <laughs> Sounds like you could use some rest then. Heading out then? I just figured I'd stop by to tell you about Kaito san. Now that I know you're safe too, I'm gonna go pass out at home. You do that. Good night. They've already ID'd the victim. Mafuyu. Satoshi Shioya, captain of the Kyore clan. You knew him, yes? Mm-hmm. If it was really the mole, that means his eyes have been gouged out? So I hear. I haven't confirmed it for myself. Better that you don't. <sighs> Who's handling the case? Kuroiwa again? Yes. He's right over there. Speaking of which, Yagami-kun, what happened last night? With the interrogation? Listen, Mafuyu. Hmm? It's Kuroiwa. He's the mole. <gasps> what? Apparently he and Hamura have been working together for years. At first, he was just a dirty cop. Not too different from Ayabe, I guess. But eventually he found murder was profitable. And that's not all. Shono from the ADDC is the one who's been hiring him to do his dirty laundry. And these corpses with their eyes gouged out? Human experiments, every one of them. All for 89. <sighs> this won't end. I just confronted Shono the other day. Said I was on to his insane tests. And now... There's a new body like nothing's changed at all. I can only see one way this shakes out. There's gonna be more deaths before this is all over. Even when he's this close to being all but caught, he's not gonna stop for anything. There's no doubt now. So now? Shono, he... He seems like this quiet, harmless scientist when you see him on the job. Except... 89 changes who he is. Makes the guy a monster. <sighs> Completing his drug will save millions. Not to mention their families. It would change the whole world. With all that power protecting Dr. Shono, he'd risk everything he has. It's us against anyone that money can buy. What 
What are you going to do? Why not walk away? Wish I could. Matsugane-san's death can't go unanswered. He deserves closure. They won't get away with this.